Okay, we go through the solutions of question four, tutorial sheet number four. Okay, if you remember from the lectures, we had two formulations for the velocity the translational velocity related to the angular or rotational velocity these are the formulation we derived from the scratch from the scratch in the lecture and the second one for acceleration it's the angular acceleration vector cross product by the radial position of the point plus omega cross product by omega r which this is nothing more than the translational velocity Okay, and if you remember in the lecture for the detailed discussion, just check the lecture video. We showed that this is nothing more than the tangential acceleration vector, and this term is nothing more than the normal acceleration vector. These two formulations are enough to solve this problem. You don't need to go through the mathematical derivations that we did, but you need to be able to use them. Okay, first of all, as we mentioned in the lecture, we need to put our coordinate system, you can see this is the positive direction for y, this is positive direction for x, this means this is my i hat, this is j hat, based on the right hand rule we discussed in the lecture, this is the positive direction for z. And you can see here the magnitude of the angular velocity is given is 20 radian per second. And the question says the constant angular velocity. And this is constant. But for the angular velocity vector, we need the magnitude and also the direction. You can see the direction is counterclockwise. And outward pointing if you remember from the lecture we showed with a circle and dots and it's clear from right hand rule that the direction of the angle of velocity is in the direction of the k, which is positive direction for the z-axis, plus k. Now, this is the origin of coordinate system, O. We can see the position vector 
of points P, R, P, is nothing more than plus 2 and it has only one horizontal component now I have for points B I have angular velocity vector I have the radial position I can calculate the V VB equals to omega b multiplied by rb this rb is in fact the position of the point b with respect to origin the origin of the coordinate system o But for simplicity, as we discuss in the relative motion, usually we drop this part. But this means the absolute radial position of point B. If you remember from the lecture, when you have a rigid body, the angular velocity and angular acceleration for all points on the rigid body are the same. The rigid body has only a single angular velocity omega a is equal to omega b any other points equal to omega similarly for the acceleration b equals to this is angular acceleration and then this is what we showed in the lecture and we discussed briefly here we said that Okay, these are two different lines, but because the beta is always fixed as a constant value, theta 1 plus beta equals to theta 2, if you take the time derivative, because the rigid body, rigid body means the points of the system doesn't move with respect to each other. It means beta is always a constant angle. Therefore, d theta 1, which is the angular velocity of one point, is equal to angular velocity to another point, or another line. And similarly, if you take another time, the first derivative with respect to time, you can come up with the angular velocity. And that's why for the rigid body, because the points of the rigid body doesn't move with respect to each other, this is the definition of the rigid body, the angular velocity and angular acceleration for all points of a rigid body are the same. This is true only for rigid body. Okay. It means omega B. is omega by rb omega i have here plus 2 in the positive direction of x cross product 2i it's 40 k by i K by I gives me plus J hat equals to plus 40 J hat. It means it's in the direction of and positive direction of the vertical axis. And this is my VB at this instant. It's in positive direction, you can see. And it's perpendicular to RB. 
And this one makes sense because we know from the curvilinear motion of the particle, when we have a circular motion, this is pass of the motion. Pass of the motion for point B is a circle. And at each point, we know the velocity is tangent to the pass of motion, or circle in this case, which is always perpendicular to radius of that point. Then, this answer also satisfies, or it's consistent with the information we know from the curvilinear motion of the particle. Now we want to use this formulation for angular acceleration AB equals to alpha B radial position cross product between them plus omega B VB ok omega B is nothing more than the time derivative of angular velocity, the angular acceleration. But here the question clearly says the angular velocity is constant. It means your angular acceleration is zero. Or its magnitude is zero. Therefore, this term is zero vector. Now we look at this term. The VB, omega B is given by the question. It's 20 K. VB we calculated in the previous step is plus 40j to vb here what does it mean when this is zero if you remember from the lecture we showed the first term or alpha cross product r is the tangential component it means we don't have any tangential acceleration for point B, but for just for this problem, because we don't have any angular acceleration, it's a constant angular velocity problem. This term is normal acceleration. The cross product between them. 80 k by j which is minus i therefore my ab has only one component which is minus 80 ok we have one horizontal component and its direction is opposite direction to i it means this is a B which makes sense because we know the normal we know this one from the curvilinear motion of the particle lecture 3 and lecture 4 the normal component of point B is always towards the center of curvature or center of rotation which is this one and in this case we don't have any tangential component because the magnitude of the VB doesn't change because omega B is constant, RB is constant, therefore VB is constant. When VB is constant, VB dots or the time derivative of VB is equal to zero. And we know the tangential component of a particle represents the variation, the rate of, vari of variation of the velocity of the particle, the magnitude. 
The normal one represents the rate of change in direction. The tangential one represents the rate of change in magnitude. Here the magnitude of velocity is always constant. Therefore we have only one normal component, we don't have any tangential. See, the results that we drive is consistent with the previous information we learned for the particle movements. These are the formulations we derived for the rigid body rotation. <coughs> but at the same time, for each point of the rigid body, they are consistent with them. Because each point of the part rigid body is a particle. The, the result of this equation are consistent with the definitions and concepts that we learned for the particle motion, curvilinear motion. For part B, using a result from A to determine the velocity and acceleration of point A. Okay. Similarly, we use just these general formulations. Va is equal to omega A multiplied by Ra. We said all the particles in rigid body they have the same angular velocity and Ra is nothing more than Rb divided by 2. You see this is Ra. Ra and Rb are exactly parallel, they have the same direction but the magnitude of Ra is half of the magnitude of Rb. Here you can see when you divide a vector Rb by a positive number, you keep the direction. Yes, it means the resultant vector, which is Ra, is parallel to the original one, which is Rb. They are different only in magnitude, they have the same direction. And we know omega Rb is nothing more than Vb over 2. And Vb we calculated here for Tj. For Tj hat over 2 equals to 20 J. This is velocity vector for point A. Similarly for the acceleration, alpha A. Again, is a constant angular velocity. We don't have angular acceleration. This is zero vector plus omega A by VA. is omega VA. You have VA from here. You can replace it. Omega is given is 20k. Yes. 20k hat multiply by 20j so here I forgot the 0 minus 800 this is minus 400 I we know from calculus k hat j hat equals to minus I Okay, the last part explains why there is no tangential component. Uh, we discussed because there is no angular acceleration. This term is zero and consequently this one is zero. 